in this video we're gonna see a little bit more how matching works because I think the basics uh, is best to start making sure that all the connectors that we add to our automation work so it's very important to do this first and to learn about this first so I'm gonna dedicate a little bit of time to this we're also gonna do a little bit of fine tuning to the automation that we created the very basic automation that we created so the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna modify the password field so it looks like a password so again in the properties I can look for the password option so here it is I'm gonna put an asterisk so every time I type something in there's gonna be an asterisk and nobody's gonna see my password okay what else are we gonna do we're gonna log into the web page so we know that at this point we log into the web page after that we're gonna log in and interrogate a couple of elements on the web page so that we see how connectors work okay so to do this we go on to the web connector that we created let me just show you again where I am I'm clicking on the web connector and I'm starting to interrogate now if we did our automation well before all of these fields should light up once the interrogation has completed loading the web page okay so we see that we have live connections with all of the elements that we automated before now let's go back to the web page and let's log into the account so we have automated already this first page now hopefully in our automation we're not going to see that message and we're going to go straight into the login but we'll see if that we can deal with that in our automation hopefully it's a message that happens once in a while only okay so we have logged in and what do we want to do we want to know we want to first we want to maybe type something into the search field so we're gonna select it so you see that I didn't use the select element and I could have made a mistake with my selection so let's see what happened so we it created a different web page is different than the login page it created another page and this is the matching rules that it applied to the connector so let's take a closer look so the first one is via URL so this is the URL and this is the this is the, the path to the URL also via title so this doesn't look very correct <coughs> <coughs> so why is there a two this is this two is probably there because we have two notifications exactly so we want to we might want to deal with that because next time that we log into the this page we might have one notification or three notifications so just before I do that I'm gonna as best practice I'm gonna select element and reselect this field that has been already selected I'm actually on the wrong page okay 
is being already selected and then I'm also gonna retrieve this one over here so I'm gonna create a selector for that also okay so now let's go back into open span and see how matching rules work we're gonna continue with the interrogation and we're gonna start from here so I think something is still loading exactly this this connector that we created okay so the first thing that we have to deal with is the fact that we might have more notifications so in the title we're going to have more than two or one or different numbers so to do that we're going to see this rule that it created two and we're going to edit it so how are we going to edit it we're going to edit it by changing the mode of search and putting in only LinkedIn and if we test it, it it matches obviously so let's see if it still matches it still matches so our rule is still valid how about the URL the URL is okay so we have modified the title match rule any other rules no I think this is a pretty good rule so let's go deeper into uh, into the form into the search form so this is matched by ID and this ID looks pretty unique so I don't think this is gonna search this is gonna change so we're gonna keep it like this so let's go into the search box that was created and see this is was matched by type so it's text input and it's the first input on the on the page maybe we can create a different match rule just to make it more unique but i think this is already a good uh, a good matching rule but just to show you that you can create all of these different kind of rules so since we selected an input you're going to see different input properties also element properties pretty general or image because it might have detected an image somewhere so input name let's see what the input name rule looks like it didn't create one because it wasn't able to find it so let's just delete it and maybe let's go with the maybe with the class match rule let's see what it looks like no it is not necessary the it has been matched pretty well now let's take also a look at this at the number of friends that we created so so this was created using a hierarchy kind of system html kind of system but maybe we can uh, create a class match rule for this okay I'm it looks quite unique I'm not sure if it's always gonna work but we'll find out now to make sure that everything works before we go on with our automation just stop interrogation start interrogation again we're gonna have to log in again very quickly and if all of our fields light up it means that we have managed to create good connectors that we're gonna use in the automation afterwards while waiting for this to load let's take a look back in our automation so remember I was telling you that there's different ways to uh, log in in the next uh, video we are going to see a different way how to log into linkedin a much faster way because logging in every time while automating is taking uh, is taking quite some time okay so let's go back 
on LinkedIn. Hopefully it's finished loading. Okay, we don't have to log in. So let me just click on the notification so I get rid of this. Okay, so it's one now and let's go back to the to the feed. Let's go back to here. And as you can see, all of the connectors have lit up. So this means that we have created the good solid connectors. Now we can stop interrogation. We can go back onto our automation and we can continue with our automation. So after we have logged in, what are we going to do? We are going to search for something. So we're going to need to create another I'm going to click on the form again and we're going to need to create another input field. So again, we're going to add a text box and the label. And very quickly, we're going to rename them. Okay, so what is the next thing that we're going to have to do? We're going to have to, just like we did with the password and with the email, we're going to have to pass this information onto the into the search bar. So as we click on the Object Explorer, we can look for the different elements that we created. So the input text. Let's put the input text here. And once again, we click on the login button. We move on to the email. After that, we move on to the password. Let's delete this link and let's move on to the search field that we're going to search for and then wait for create and continue with the automation. So as we did with the first page, we're going to have to wait for create for the second page as well. So if we go into our we close our login form parameters and we take a look only at the web connectors parameters. So let's grab our text box and let's look for the text value. But before that, we have to add the wait for create. So we add the wait for create. So we wait for the web page to load. There is also different ways that we're going to handle this also. But to begin with, it's easy enough and simple to start with the wait for create. So let's get text and let's connect the text from the input text to the text in the search box. And another thing we're going to do is what we are going to grab the We're gonna grab the We're gonna grab the number of friends that we have and we're gonna display it in this input. So I'm just gonna arrange all these items and I'm gonna make it a little bit more nicer to look at. Okay, and we need to rename this very quickly, otherwise it's going to be very confusing. Uh, num friends. And also let's add the label. Okay, here's the label. Let's rename it.
Okay. So going back into our automation. Now let's test our automation and see what happens. So what should happen is after we click on the login button, we should log in and uh, the text that we put into the input field should be displayed in the search bar. We're currently building our solution. Now we see the design form has opened. I'm going to type in the email that I used to log into LinkedIn. And the password. And what I'm going to search for. I'm going to log out of LinkedIn. Ah, if anybody wants to be my friend, please invite me. I only have one friend. Okay, so let's see if it works so if i push this uh, our automation should start okay we go to the feed it's waiting to load And RPA was written here. Now the next thing that we're going to do is grab the number of friends and display it here and then push the search button and search for RPA. We're going to do this in the next video. Thank you for watching.